Yep. Yep. So it, I find it, uh, all the questions in physics seem in some way to go back to, to gravity. And it's funny how these uh, particles, um, they adhere to gravity, the force of gravity, but not the other fundamental forces. What makes gravity such an interesting and, and difficult um, aspect of, of the physical universe? So what's different about gravity is um, what causes a gravitational field is basically mass and energy. And everything has mass and energy, or certainly energy, um, including dark matter. Dark matter has mass and it has energy, so it will create a, a gravitational field. So the universality, and also there's no anti-gravity, so you can't screen gravity. Mm. So, you know, the electromagnetic force is much, much stronger than gravity. Um, but there are positive charges and negative charges. And uh, when they get together, they screen each other and you have mm. a neutral, you know. So, so there's no negative gravity. There's no, there's no anti-gravity. <coughs> so okay. there's no... There's no antiparticle to the gravitron, in, so to speak. Uh, well, uh, not so much the graviton, but but say say the proton, mm -hmm. say well, say an electron, yeah. and its antiparticle, the positron. They both the, the, still have. They both still a have positive have, gravity. Exactly, they both yeah. have a positive gravity. So gravity is always attractive, and uh, and um, you can't screen it, and it's universal. It couples to all forms of energy. Uh, that's why gravity um, uh, is important for large-scale physics like cosmology because it can't be screened. It's a very, very weak force. It's the weakest of the four forces of mm. nature that we've so far discovered, many times weaker uh, mm. than, than, uh, than the others. And, uh, but it's, it's very long-ranged and, and, uh, and it builds up as you get more and more mass and energy. Uh, the gravitational field uh, keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And because it couples to everything, you do have the potential through gravity to find other things, like dark matter. So the fact that it is linked to everything make, makes it good for observation, I suppose. It does. It, it makes it good for, um, I guess, discovering mm. uh, new types of particles, at least if they're around in great numbers, right? If they're around in minute quantities, then gravity is way too weak. Uh, to, to find them. But this dark, dark matter, by the way, there's five times as much of it in terms of mass per unit volume as there is ordinary matter. Um, am I right to say it, it makes up uh, approximately 27% of the entire universe? That so, we know? yeah, the, ra the ratio of um, ordinary matter to dark matter is about one to five. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, but then most of the uh, energy density in the universe today is in this dark energy, mm -hmm. this, yeah. this cosmological constant. Yes. And, it, and it's, it's only about... Um, uh, I don't know, 30% or so of the universe that is in the form of matter. And most of that is dark matter. Yeah. So, you know, ordinary atoms is, is just like 4 or 5% of the energy It's so, yeah, and we thought it was universe. pretty much everything not, not yeah. so long ago. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, we can say that we really don't understand 95% yeah. of the energy that's in the universe, which is, yeah. which is you know, you can say, well, that's bad, but I, I find that exciting. It gives well, it us is, something to look.